Now that we've got a basic foundation playing maraca 2 on the snare drum, the bass drum, and the hi-hat, let's take the concept of distributing the right hand to a different sound source. Okay, this is something that I've been exploring a lot in the book. Um, so if we take that same sticking pattern, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, and just keep that same sticking pattern and just move it to the ride cymbal, it's going to open up the groove and open up that feel so much because what happens is when you're playing it all on the snare drum, you're taking up a lot of the harmonic space. So if you're playing like in a jazz trio or like a funk setting, you're, you're taking up a lot of the harmonic space and you're not leaving a lot of space for a pianist or a horn player to play. So if you, once you move that right hand to the ride cymbal, all of a sudden you've opened up all that space for harmonic instruments to feel comfortable in your groove. So check this out. We're going to take that same sticking pattern and just move it over here. Two, three, and... I think it's important to always remember that the drum set is a multi-percussion instrument and to always remember the roots of the drum set when we're, when we're applying folkloric rhythms to the drum set. And with maraca 2, we're not always going to want that huge maraca 2 sound of 150 drummers on the streets parading. Um, that's not always going to work. You're not always going to get gigs that way. So you've always got to adapt yourself and adapt what you're doing on the drum set to the musical situation. So I find that that concept of distributing the right hand around the drum set really helps the groove adapt, really helps you adapt your groove to the playing situation if you're playing in a jazz trio or quartet or a funk situation. So what I'll do now is I'll start off with that big sound in my head and then I'll distribute the right hand to the ride cymbal or the hi-hat or the rim or the cowbell and lighten it up a little bit and give some more harmonic space for other instruments to play. So here we go.
As you'll notice, even though I was orchestrating my right hand around the drum set, I kept the same sticking pattern. The sticking pattern never changed, and the the swing feel never changed. I maintained that swing feel. So that's really important for you to remember when you're going through this material from the book. To always keep that feel, no matter where you're, 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 you're distributing your right hand around the drums, that feel always has to maintain consistency throughout the whole time you're playing.